Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my single player survival world. Today I'm going to be working on the zombie mob farm. But before we do that, we seem to have another enderman over here. This is literally, oh, quick, 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 better blocks, oh shit, 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 blocks. Get in water, they can't go in water. Oh, 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 shit, that was a close one. Oh, wow, oh, did he die? He didn't die yet. I can still hear the noise. That was so close. Shush, you're being too loud, shut up. Where are you, you little shit? Come here. Oh, okay, apparently we're not killing the Enderman at the start of the episode like I had planned because I was unprepared for it and look what happened. But at least I did know about the Enderman's weakness to water. So if you ever have a panic like that and you're recording about to die, don't worry, just jump in your mob farm or some source of water, you'll be fine. Um, where was I? Back to what I was talking about, okay. So for this mob grinder, I did a lot of work off camera, which I'm about to show you, but have a look at these particle effects on it. See how it's like spinning and lighted up with like little flame particles? And if we move far enough back, about here, bam, he stops spinning and all the little flame particles turn off. Now that is actually because we are a certain amount of blocks away and the mob spawner turns off and it will not be spawning those zombies anymore. Well, it actually can spawn them, but I believe that the mob spawner stops amplifying the numbers of zombies that spawn in that particular area if you're too far away from it. So see how it activates and it turns off, that type of thing? So what I actually have to do is I have to be standing within that zone for them to be spawning at full rates. So what I've decided to do is make this little room up here, which we will end up in a second, but let's go ahead and follow this. So I believe I put this whole layer in, this block of water here, um, last episode. And what I did is, seeing as this was longer than eight blocks, I did this by accident. It's longer than eight blocks from the drop till when they start going up. So I actually had to do a little step here. See how the dirt goes down one layer? And that forces the water to keep on flowing. Then they get this way and it says, this way buddy, free candy. The zombies will go up here. Now this is, and see we're at the little layer here, I've got to cover this up, so we'll do that now. And then you keep going up, the zombies will go all the way up. This is all experimental guys, I didn't really look anything up, I'm just making it up as I go. We'll do some testing, we'll get it working as efficient as we can. And I'm also hoping to light up all the caves around here and get like multiple mobs. Oh my, everything wants to kill me today. You can't go down one whole block, it's unlucky buddy. So anyway, that brought us all the way up to the top here. Have a look at this, guys. We are right up... Oh, good example. Thank you, zombie. We are right up the top. There's our base just over there. And we're getting owned by zombies here. Let's see if we can punch one of them into the water. And watch him flow down. And we'll see if he survives. Because I don't know if I made this drop too big or what. But, yep, go down there. If he survives, we can survive. He survived. Alright, that's good. Let's test if we can survive. Oh, I'm not liking this test very much. We'll test from just a bit lower. Because the zombie might also hit us. So if we survive on one heart, we might still die. <sighs> is Hades really going to do this? And is all my stuff going to be lost? Let's try anyway. Let's wait till we regen our hearts. Come on. Alright, dig this. We're falling. Oh yeah, we, we survived. On one and a bit heart, so it's lucky I ate that steak and that I, I jumped down a bit lower. But yeah, basically what I did is I used the formula. Hang on, i got to get the formula. I had it up on my second screen. Where is it? Bam. Bam, bam. Alright. So the formula I used was the normal fall damage one that applies to players. And I just assumed it worked for mods, um, mobs as well. So fall damage equals the number of blocks you fall... Minus three, because you don't start taking fall damage until you fall from over three blocks. So we can actually test that right here. Look at this. One, two, three. Fall off this. No fall damage. Interesting. Now we'll go from four. One, two, three. Oh, I've got to mine this out a bit. One, two, three. Four. So now we should theoretically take one heart of fall damage. Or half a heart of four damage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one, it's one health, but one health is only half a heart. So see how you got ten hearts? It's actually twenty health. 
So when we get up to the four here, this will actually take one health away, which is also equivalent to half a heart. Or if we went up again, that'll take away exactly one heart. See? Bam. One heart gone. And that's the same type of thing I did with mobs. And I, I, I didn't know the mob health off by heart, but I think Endermen have like 40 health, maybe. And I think um, skeletons and zombies have the same health as a player. So when I made that trap, I made it exactly, um, how much was it? 22 or something? 24? I forgot what I did already. But I, I worked it out. Yeah, 24 would take away 21 hard damage. That's too much. 23 would take away 20 hard damage. So it'd have to be 22. And I believe it is 22 because that previous zombie survived the fall. But anyway, that's the basic design of that. There may be a way better way, because I was doing this back years ago on Minecraft. But that's how I did it. A 22 block fall will take them 19 hearts off. And then, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Because you've got a minus the 3 from it, and bam, they, they get down here, one health, you just hit them once, they're dead. With anything. Hit them with a dirt block, because they'll literally be one shot. But, to be able to finish this off and actually test that anything I did was slightly correct, because I just made it up, and it was based off an old Minecraft mob spawner made years ago. But, yeah, so let's go. We've got to get rid of the torches. Preferably, we've got to light up the whole chunk. So we've got to light up all these caves, but... I don't quite have time for that, this recording. So what we will do is we'll just test to make sure the basics are working. And that there's actually mobs spawning in here, and that they're getting to the trap over there. Oh my, come on. I bit my tongue, it actually really hurts, guys. <laughs> Don't bite your tongue. I'm actually, like, hurting. My tongue hurting right now. But perfect English. I'm good at English, guys. Alright. So we'll do that. We will jump in here, I guess. We'll block that up. Time to get rid of all these torches. See you later, see you later. See you later. See you later. And see you later. Oh, we gotta get out of here on the quick smart. Actually, we'll watch these zombies first. We'll follow the zombie, make sure he's he's not getting stuck anywhere, to make sure it's, a, it's efficient as possible. Jump down here. Oh, there's a little bit of a slowdown there, but that's understandable. Come on, go up. Yep, looking good. He's doing it. Oh, we got a, we got some follower zombies. Please don't hit me, one's below me. Oh, shit. Hurry up. There's zombies behind me! Get a move on! It's working though, he's definitely going. He's going up. Please don't go- Oh, they're catching! They're catching me! <laughs> this is a terrible idea, Hades! Go faster, zombie! Now this guy's not actually gonna survive because- Oh no. Oh! oh. Yeah, that's how you do it! Thank you very much, zombies. Please, keep going. I'll see you down in the- In the mob trap. Thank you very much. We better block this up in case they burn. I don't know if the water puts out the burn automatically, but there we go. And it's raining. I'm going to quickly head back to the base. I'm going to check some stuff out and deposit some things because my inventory is full. And then we're going to check out if that mob farm worked and see what health they're at. Alright, so I don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that. We can get rid of some of the water buckets now. We'll keep two actually just in case. Um chests. Yeah, we'll put them down there. Bone. See you later. Let I see you later. Alright, we're looking much better in resources now. Just in case I need to pick up some ender pearls or something. Who knows what I'll kill down there. Um, that enderman still aggroed onto me as far as I know. Hmm. Nah, he would have died in the rain. If he was down in the cave, I would have seen him. If he was... Oh, I got an ender pearl! Wait, was that from last episode? Oh, I got no clue. Oh well. But anyway, guys, we got to kill a lot of Endermen, that's all I know. Because it's going to take a lot to find the end. Actually, it probably won't take that long to find the end. Because this same world is on, um... On my multiplayer server. On hub.hadescraft.com. Uh, if you didn't see my last episode, I released a survival world. So you go hub.hadescraft.com. IP will be in the description. And then you type slash server townie. And it's actually a whitelisted server where you can message me on Facebook if you're an active YouTuber and you want to join and actually do a series. Or you can donate a few bucks and get on for yourself. 
the donation of, of a few dollars and being a YouTuber is just to stop griefers and people who don't really care about it getting on the server. Because honestly, a few dollars is absolutely nothing. So I'll chuck a link to that in the description. And basically, you just buy it off Bycraft for a few dollars. It automatically whitelists you on the server. And on that server is actually this exact same world that I'm playing on. So you guys could join that world, tell me where all these biomes are, or good places like good chests, all that good stuff, and have a look at that. Mob spawn's going amazing. Is that killing them? How many hits? Only a couple hits. That is very good. Oh yeah. That is what I call a mob farm. We could get some massive levels off this. That is great. Yes, it works, guys. First try, Hades made up a design. GG. I've got to turn down those stupid wankers because they're really loud. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to stay here talk about that other server for a little bit. Yeah, so the whitelisted townie server, um, IP in the description, type slash server townie, use the compass, or go through the survival portal. You can buy whitelist access, only a few bucks. Please buy it, guys, because I want to get this server pumping, and the more players that actually want to play survival, the better. If you don't want to play, I mean, don't join. Like, I really don't want anyone who doesn't want to joining. But for those of you who are looking for a survival world to play on, friendly people on there, that is definitely the world for you, and it's this exact same seed as I said, so you can help me out and tell me um, where the end is and all that stuff to save me some ender pearls. Because then I'll only need enough ender pearls to... I'll need to go to the nether, make them into um, the ender eyes, and then I only have to fill up a couple of them, and then I could actually go to the end, instead of having to throw them, follow them to the end. So that would save me some time, that'll be appreciated. I'm sure someone will hit me up with that in the next... What is happening? I heard something dying. But anyway, I need to make a new sword. Because it's always good to have a backup sword. And when I use this one a bit, what you want to do is you never want to throw out these swords. You just want to use this one a bit. And then when it's used, you merge them together to just... To basically add the durability plus more back to your sword. So I'm just going to use this and then repair it with that one. Really nice tip. Make sure to do that. But yeah, let's have a look at this mob farm. See how many are up here now? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. One has armor now. Of course he takes um, reduced damage. He has the same amount of hearts, but he takes reduced damage. So obviously we can't make a mob's trap that... Actually, he didn't... He didn't... Oh, I used a sword, so I don't know. But anyway, the point is that they're, they're mostly just a couple shots. So I could just sit here punching with my fists. Bam, I actually got a carrot. They are extremely rare if I don't happen to find a village. I forgot if I got carrots in my first village. I don't think so. So this carrot might have been the first carrot I've ever found in my series. Thank you. What the f... How did you hit me through a dirt block? Is that some type of new Minecraft feature when they land and it does that Superman thing? It hits people back? I don't know. But anyway, I got level 30. Let's head off here. Before I waste too much, what are you doing down here? Fuck, die! Attack! Alright, we need to light this up, obviously. Not enough lighting in here. We'll leave this unlit, actually. We'll light it up properly later. But for now, that'll do, that'll do, and that'll do. <laughs> Alright, straight up here. We need to make a more efficient way, but whatever. <laughs> we'll eventually get up here. Um, I might check out the chicken farm. Oh, sorry, I was, co I was covering my mouth there. I don't know if the mic can pick me up. Um, tell me if you like my new setup, if you can hear the difference. I moved my microphone because I bought a new chair. Now, this chair is absolutely amazing, guys. If you saw my setup video ages ago, I had a big leather reclining chair, and that has been replaced because that leather reclining chair did not have wheels, and it was kind of a bit screechy. Like, you heard me moving in videos, it goes... Makes massive squeal noises. But it was awesome, it was really comfortable, and it holded position exactly how far back to reclined I wanted. But this chair was just a slight bit better, and I got it from Costco. It's called the Executive Comfort Chair. So if you are looking for an amazing one, hit up Costco. They're in basically every country in the world now, because I'm in Australia and they're selling them here, so... Surely they're selling them everywhere else. So Costco comfort chairs, absolutely highest quality. They're about 300 AUD, but it was definitely worth it, if you ask me. And yeah, because I changed chairs, I had to change my desk. 
change the mic, change everything, so I don't know if it's any good or not, but hopefully you guys didn't even know the difference until I told you. Or it might have sounded better, hopefully better. I don't know, I'm, just, I'm technically closer to the mic, so it might have been better, who knows. Alright, what am I doing? Enchanting table, that's what I'm doing. Now that I have a mob, mob farm <coughs> and 30 levels, what do I need to do? I need to enchant some stuff, that's what I need to do. So, what are we doing? How do we do this? I've totally blanked out. How do you make pa Oh, that's how you make paper, okay. So, we'll just turn this all into paper, I guess? How much paper do you need? Oh my god, I've totally forgot what I'm doing. You need leather for... <laughs> this is the biggest fail. No, there's books, alright. So we've got plenty of books. Then you put the books like that. And... Is that serious? Then you do this for bookshelves. Well, there, there we go. That wasn't a fail at all. What am I? What is Hades talking about? This guy knows everything about Minecraft. Look at that. He didn't. I didn't. I don't think I stuffed up the recipe once, and I totally just fluked that. But there we go. There's my 13 bookshelves, and that's approximately how many you need. I forgot the exact amount, but you know, whatever. So that one, I don't know if that's as efficient as you can make them, but. I do want to do that anyway for looks. So we got that, and then we can just do bam, bam, and we'll, we'll fit some more in later. Let's see what level enchants this will get us. 26, 26, 26. I'll see if we can actually adjust these to get some... Oh, far out. It deletes the things. I have to remake them again. Great. We've actually got some more sugarcane. No, did I just waste all my sugar cane that I grew? I've got 39 left. We gotta save some to replant it. So I'll just take 20. I will take 20, that's what I will do, guys. Oh, that's a bad idea, though. Oh, come on. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll grow the sugar cane back later. That's a bit of a pain, but we can deal with it. We can deal with it. How did I do that again? Like this, like that, like that, like this, and like this. Bam, give me those bookshelves. Boom, 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 boom. And we got a few spare books for whatever we want to do. Okay. So bam, bam. That should definitely give us level 30 enchants now. Hello, level 30 enchants, please. Oh my. This game hates me. How many bookshelves is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 bookshelves. That sounds like a right number, actually, now that I think about it. Um, I vaguely remember 15 being the amount you need. So let's hook up another book here. Another bookshelf, real quick. Um, this is the most ghetto wood I've ever. Oh, I don't even have enough wood. Is that serious? Back up to the wood chest, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. This is turned into a massive pain. Just give me level 30 enchants, bro. That's all I want. A level 30 enchant, bro. That's it. Come on. What am I doing? Let's hook this book up real quick here. The more times you do it, the more you learn how to do it in the future. So, pay attention, guys. All right. Bam. Now, give me a level 30. Yes. Now, we're going to do it. On my pickaxe, even though it's nearly dead, but I don't have many diamonds, to be perfectly honest. So why not? There we go. Unbreaking 3, thank you! Oh, the Minecraft gods have blessed me today. Look at that, guys. Unbreaking 3. That increases the durability by an absolute shit ton. That'll make it last way longer. Get out of here, software manager. Whatever the fuck that's for. And now this will last me ages, guys. That increased the durability by a ton. So, thank you to Minecraft. That was definitely worth it. We'll deck out this room probably next episode. I'm going to quickly run up to the chicken farm while wrapping this one up. But, guys, please, don't forget to play on the servers in the description. Check them out, and if you're interested in the survival world on this seed, which is Hades Minecraft, all in capitals, make sure to check it out. It's only a few dollars to get on, or if you're a YouTuber, an active one doing a series, message me on um, Facebook. But I do have to warn you, I got spammed a ton. 
and it'll take me a long time to reply to them all. So please stop like posting not um, important stuff. Please just keep it important because otherwise the people who have important stuff will miss out because I won't be able. To oh fuck! All the chickens are dead. I was trying not to swear, but that's fucked. Wow. Oh my. No. We'll fix this up in the next step. I'll fix this up off camera. Chicken farm officially deleted from the map. I don't like... Oh my, I don't like it very much, guys. We're going to wrap up the episode here. Chuck the video a like. Check out that stuff in the description. I'm, I'm actually pretty pissed off now. I don't know, oh, you have no idea how long it took to get those three chickens. And now they're dead. So, let's munch down some steak in this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, weekend, whatever. Chuck the video a like, and I'll see you later.